Hi everybody, Deborah Dickinson here. Thank you for being on my channel and for all of your support. If you haven't already done so, please be sure that you are subscribed to my channel so that you get the new updates. Today, <laughs> it's going to be a heart to heart from me to you talking about some things that, um, that, that are just coming up right now. That was Frugal RV Gal headed into town. And you know, we have a beautiful camp out here and I am so blessed but I'm coming off of a major TBI episode and what a better place to try to recover but I'm sad because I didn't get to go to town today to uh, celebrate the holidays with my friends I have rescheduled my well it's actually uh, mine and Frugal RV Gals mini meetup from today uh, to next week Thursday the, De the December 28th and this video may be a little disjointed because I am um, coming off of a TBI episode and I'm going to talk more about that in a minute but uh, I'm wearing my red t-shirt that I bought y'all look so I was gonna put these I have like a, uh, three packs of this and I was gonna make a Christmas tree on my shirt and wear it to the uh, ugly sweater uh, I don't know if it was a contest or not, but uh, at uh, Beer Belly's uh, bar and restaurant in town where the Cassandra Long Band is playing today. And I'm sad uh, not only to miss that because I, well, we, you can take toys that Salvation Army is going to distribute to the kids in this area. And I already was going to go by the game store and pick out something educational for that. And we just really had a great day planned, including a mini meetup that was originally supposed to be today, that we have rescheduled for, um, like I said, today may be a little disjointed because I'm coming off of a TBI episode, but we've rescheduled it for Thursday, December 28th, 11 to 1 at Gringo's Tex-Mex on Kewen in Quartzsite. So be sure to check out my website, DebraDickinson.com, and go to the events page, and it'll give you all the information about that, and, and I've got other um, events coming up, book signing events, and meet the author, and I'm going to be scheduling a Come Camp With Me with my um, patron soon and so it's a good time of year but it's also I, I, I I'm going to share with you what happened with my TBI it was um, unexpected and that's not ever happened to me before and the sun is uh, starting to come out so I'm gonna put my sunglasses back on because I'm like squinting like this so hang on all right ah oh, now I can see, sorry about the sunglasses. I, I get a lot of comments that you guys like to uh, see someone's eyes when they're talking to you. And, and I understand that, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't wanna be squinting for the rest of this video. Um, and, and I wanted, you know, that just leads me to, I have, I always say I have the most wonderful viewers in the world and I, and I really believe that. And you guys are from all over the world and, and thank you for being here. Can you hear the hummingbirds in the tree? <laughs> I just, it's such a magical spot where we are camped and I'm very grateful. And uh, grateful for you guys, that's what I was saying. And thank you for your patience with me in this video. Next, uh, I think on Wednesday, I'm going to have the video of uh, us at Oregon Pipe National Monument, which is where we went before we came to Southwest Arizona for the winter. That was our last stop before coming to Southwest Arizona. But I wanted to share this today, so the videos are kind of out of order. So, three years ago, <laughs> I'll, I'll talk about the TBI episode in a minute because it's 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 important and for you guys that may be new to my channel, uh, TBI stands for traumatic brain injury. I have a brain injury and I have had brain surgery and uh, periodically, not very often, I'm very blessed. I have TBI episodes and I'm going to talk about that in a minute because it's it's important for a lot of reasons uh, or at least I, I it's some information I want to share with you. Okay. So, squirrel, where was I? Um, oh, no, I don't remember. Oh my God, see, I probably shouldn't do a video today, but it, it's, um, it in a way, I, I had lunch with a dear friend not long ago, and he reminded me 
you know, when your heart is behind what you do and you are doing it to help others, uh, you can't go wrong. And so I'm counting on that today because I wouldn't be doing this if I if I didn't want to be a part of giving back, especially at this time of year. And, uh, oh yeah, that's what I was saying. Three years ago, uh, this week, three years ago, I left... Uh, again a, a remote location in court site and went to town and uh, my, uh, Phoenix had it, she's Phoenix now back then she was known as my rig was known as free bird and um, she broke down <laughs> and I ended up getting towed to an RV park um, after getting stranded in the Walmart parking lot in Parker and that was this week you guys uh, that that happened and you know you would think after surviving uh, a brain injury and uh, brain surgery losing my son um, and and the the different things that I've gone through I know you guys go through stuff um, that that wouldn't have been like a big deal but it, but it almost did me in and when I say Coco NMW ODAT, keep on keeping on no matter what, one day at a time. I shared on social media this morning that it, it, I mean it because I really had a hard time. I was alone through the holidays. Um, I, there was no signal at the RV park I got um, towed to, and I had to walk. I don't remember now. I think it was a mile and a half, or uh, I'll have to look, but. I had had to, or two miles one way, um, and I did that every Friday and stayed at a hotel so I could have signal and get caught up on some work and everything, and uh, then walked back. And um, but other than that, and connecting with you guys during that time, I was pretty much alone. But I had friends that kept checking on me, and then I had friends that ultimately resurrected Phoenix a month later. So uh, December seventeenth. 2020 is when she broke down as free bird and January 17th 2021 is when she was resurrected as Phoenix I rechristened her but in that month it was very difficult and I had to remind myself every day and uh, connect with God in spirit and prayer and meditation and keep on keeping on no matter what one day at a time and I shared in my social media post this morning that since then I have written or published five books. I, um, I can't even remember what all I, I, I wrote that I was so blessed to do. Of course, another three years on the road. I now travel with Frugal RV Gal and Sammy Joe, and I'm very blessed for that. And um, just so, so many wonderful things have happened. My books are now on Audible. I just started my 10th book. And I really wasn't sure um, that I, I could keep on keeping on at that point. I just felt like I was losing everything again. And um, then today, coming off of this recent TBI, I didn't get to go to town. And it's like, Wah! I have to stay out here in Shangri-La and, and recover. And... But you know, it, it, and I, I, I have been looking at some old memories and everything, and I was also reminded that I, I'm one of the lucky ones. I, you know, I don't even look. I know I don't look like I have a brain injury, and and um, it, but I was in TBI rehab with a lot of people that would give anything to be able to have this life that I have. And I have to remember that. And when I do miss out on things and when I don't get to go um, be with friends for a holiday celebration and uh, to do toys for tots with Salvation Army and, 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 and make a silly Christmas sweater. And, uh, you know, those, those are things that are, it's just a day, a day that passes. And um, I just have, you have to, I have to, and you have to look at your blessings. And there's always, always, always something to be grateful for. And that's what gets me through um, sad times. I haven't had any dark times like that since Phoenix broke down or was resurrected as Phoenix. That was my last big one. 
um, certainly my brain injury and my brain surgery and losing my son and so many things that can happen and it's just life. So I, I feel like I, I, I and, I, and I'm, I'm probably turning some people off. I don't mean it to sound preachy. I just, it's a reminder for me as much as it is you that there's, there's always something to be grateful for. And this time of year can be so hard for so many. And it, it, you know, the holidays and anniversaries of tragic events can really bring up a lot of emotion that can feel like it's difficult to get through. And so I just wanted to say, if you're, if you are uh, struggling with that, you know, find something to be grateful for, pass love on and, um, look at what you can do for others and how you can be a blessing. Um, that's, that's what I try to do and it works for me and it has gotten through uh, me through a lot. So I just wanted to share that. I want to tell you about my TBI episode because it was different than any others I've had. It came on suddenly. There was nothing wrong. There was no reason for me to have a TBI episode, I, and I didn't see it coming. I've always shared that I can tell when I'm getting symptomatic, and when that starts happening, I stay in camp or I stop whatever I'm doing, and I make sure that I'm safe. And um, and, and a lot of people were like, well, if you have a brain injury, you shouldn't be driving. And, you know, the, the thing is, is that uh, I had to be released by my neurosurgeon, the state of Texas, where my driver's license was issued after, and it took me a year and a half. I, I did, they did take my driver's license away from me after my brain surgery, and it took me a year and a half to get my license back. My neurosurgeon uh, did all the paperwork, signing off that I, I was okay to drive. The state of Texas had me, uh, uh, had me inspected. What's the what's the word? It's not inspected. Had me. Um, Examined. I had to go see three doctors for them before uh, I could even retake the driver's test uh, to get my license back. And so I, you know, I was vetted and, and checked out and, and was am able to drive. That's not an issue. Having said that, if I, 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 I was in town, I was doing laundry, I... I, I, I all of a sudden was skipping and having a TBI episode before I knew it. And I came home immediately. I, I didn't do, of course, didn't do any more errands or anything. But um, Jana, frugal RV gal, she, she walked me through. When you get out here in the desert, <laughs> it may not look like it, but when you get out here in the desert, the, the, the lanes, the roads, the trails... You know, they can all start looking like they're doing this, and it can get confusing even when you know where you're going and you're not um, in a TBI episode. But I, um, I, I couldn't, I, I wasn't sure I could find camp. It had been a long time since I felt, I wasn't un, unsafe. I mean, I could just stop driving at any moment and pull over out here in the desert but what I needed to do was get to camp and lie down and um, for those of you that are going to question everything <laughs> uh, today just just know that that I was in good hands with Jana Frugal RV gal and my laundry and everything from running errands in town was on my bed and so it's not like I could just pull over and lie down and um, I, I usually put, or when I'm by myself, I try to put my laundry up. I mean, while I'm at the laundromat, I go to the RV and I put it up while I'm there so that my bed isn't messed up. But I was starting to have issues and just wanted to get home. And so um, never, I, I never once thought about pulling over and just lying down on the floor. But that when an ep episode starts, getting horizontal and securing my head on a pillow or just resting it horizontal is is the best thing and all I could think was get to camp and lay down get to camp and lay down and that was on Thursday and like I said this is Monday and 
I still um, am, am not able to drive. I'm not able to go to town and be social, but I'm better. I'm standing up. I'm talking to you. It may be disjointed and you may be wondering, what is this video about? But I, I wanted to, to share that because I'm, I, I have been telling everyone how grateful I am for my medicine, Aricept. Um, that my doctor uh, put me on and because it gave me back in addition to this way of life and if you've read my book how being a nomad saved my life um, you know how 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 that is uh, literally a true story that being a nomad saved my life but Aricept gave me back the ability to think and uh, be creative and put one foot in front of the other and and uh, um, I, I think I've shared uh, and I think it's in my book I can't remember but that um you know i was getting to where i was just sitting and and when i was putting on shoes and i'd look down and i'd have one shoe on and i'm like am i taking them off or am i putting them on and and Aricept gave me back my life in that sense and um they quit making the five milligrams so we've been trying 10 milligrams and i'm sharing this because so many people follow me that have um, family members with Alzheimer's or dementia or some cognitive disability like I have. And so I want you to know that um, one of the side, there's two major side effects from Aricept, or can be, not always. But one of them is gastro. It, it can really mess with your tummy and you can, you can actually start bleeding. And um, again, it's not a medicine to be scared of, it, it, but that is one of the major side effects. And the other major side effect is it can uh, uh, cause horrible, horrible muscle cramps. We've all had leg cramps or, or you know, or, or uh, you know, your calf gets a cramp or your leg gets a cramp or your toes get a cramp and it's like, ah! Well, you know, multiply that by a thousand when Aricept kicks in. And so you have to take extra magnesium and, 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 and take precautions around that. But um, they quit making the five milligrams. And so we had been trying the 10 milligrams. Well, I started having gastro trouble and I started bleeding. And so we cut back to five milligrams and um, in uh, like three times a week. <laughs> And I was doing that because I was just scared to death of bleeding out. And um, so now I'm back up to five after this TBI episode that there was no rhyme or reason for other than the low dosage of Aricept. I'm back up to uh, cutting the 10 milligram pills in half and um, taking five milligrams a day. <laughs> And we'll see how it goes. I mean, it's like, you know, am I going to be stupid or am I going to hurt and bleed? <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> everything's a trade-off, right? We talk about in this in this lifestyle, living in a rig, everything's a trade-off. If you're going to be in a van, you got you to have a small van like I used to have for five years where I could go and park anywhere and do anything. And now I'm in a 23-foot RV and I'm limited, but I get to stand up and walk around and have things that I didn't have for the five years that I lived in my van. So everything's a trade-off. And sometimes when it comes to your health care, everything's a trade-off. And so uh, if you have a loved one, and um, I don't have Alzheimer's or dementia, but they give Aricept uh, to people with brain injuries, to some, not all, uh, experimentally, and it has worked beautifully for me. So I'm not sure, you know, here I am, at, you know, three years ago, I wasn't sure how life was going to be uh, when my rig broke down. And here I am, fast forward three years later, and I'm not sure how life is going to be. And that's the point that I wanted to make. It doesn't matter. that I'm, I'm blessed. There's always blessings. There's always, always, always something to be grateful for. And everybody has a story, and we're all dealing with something. And we need to lift each other up and be love. You know, spread love, be love. And if you can do that for someone today just because they may not look like they're having issues or they may not present like they are having a hard time you never know what's going on so that's my message and I just wanted to touch base and it's not my usual video but I um, you know go grab one of my books <laughs> If you want to help, go grab one of my books. 
if you already have my books, buy some, one for somebody else. And it, I know it's coming up close to Christmas time. You can send an ebook through Amazon to anyone. And um, so, you, you know, if you want to do that, uh, grab one of my books. And if you already have done that, please be sure that you leave a review on Amazon of any of my books that you have read. That's the gift that you can give to me this holiday season. And I am sending out so much love to you. And if you're in the Courtside area, I hope to see you next week at the mini meetup. Please go check out my events on my website, DebraDickinson.com. And keep on keeping on no matter what, one day at a time, everybody. I love you, and we'll see you down the road. Bye. <music>